when we first met you, you said, I don't live in Hawaii anymore because I was priced out of paradise. Welcome to paradise, my friend. Ah! Im Tongi, the talented American Idol winner, helped shine a national spotlight on how Hawaii's high cost of living is driving local residents away from the islands. Why on earth would you leave Hawaii? <laughs> Price out of paradise. Uh, oh, that's what it is. Ah. <laughs> you got know, price out of paradise. And I get it. Gotta move to a cheaper state. We're fixing to get you priced back in Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You don't go back Any in. Any chance? I'm back. <laughs> As we celebrate Iam Tongi as an amazingly talented American Idol champion, we can also celebrate him for highlighting something else very important to his Hawaii fans. And that something else is something major. Why have so many residents like Tongi's family left Hawaii? In this video, we'll show you specific reasons why Hawaii's residents are being priced out of paradise and offer some ideas on how to bring down the cost of living in Hawaii without having to become an American Idol star. Tonki's family moved to Washington state because they could no longer afford to live in the islands. Washington, a much more affordable state, is one of the top destinations for people leaving Hawaii. So what makes Hawaii so expensive? Well, one obvious thing is that the state is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, so almost all our goods have to be shipped here, and that adds costs. And a federal law known as the Jones Act adds to those costs because it restricts shipping competition between U.S. ports, and it makes carriers buy U.S. built ships, which cost four or five times more than ships built overseas. One study estimated that the Jones Act costs Hawaii residents at least $1.2 billion a year, or about $1,800 per average family. It's simple economics that if you restrict shipping competition and force the carriers to pay more for their ships, prices will go up. So the Jones Act piled on top of our natural isolation is another reason your grocery bills and overall product prices are much higher than the rest of the nation. Why else? Well. Hawaii has lots and lots of housing regulations, and that increases costs too. We have more housing regulations than any other state in the country, and that makes it really difficult to build any housing at all. A recent survey showed that only about 30% of Hawaii residents can afford to buy a home in the islands. And that's understandable since the median price on Oahu, Maui, and Kauai is over a million dollars, the highest in the nation. It's especially difficult to build housing for lower and middle income folks, since that housing often has to be built close together, and there are so many regulations that prevent that. Zoning laws often restrict how many homes can be put on a piece of land, so sometimes it's easier to just build high-end homes instead. And at some point, this all becomes too much to afford for Hawaii residents who are struggling, and that's why so many people leave and can't move back even when they want to. So now let's talk about taxes. According to the National Tax Foundation, Hawaii has the third highest tax burden in the nation. That includes your individual income tax and sales taxes. Actually, Hawaii doesn't have a sales tax, but it has a general excise tax, which is kind of like a sales tax, except it's on all goods and services at every step in the production process. So even though Hawaii's general excise tax rate of 4.5% might be lower than most state sales taxes, it's actually much bigger by the time it hits the consumer. Some estimates place it around 12 or 13%, so that's a big tax. And that tax is also added to medical services provided by private medical practices, which some say is one reason Hawaii has a critical doctor shortage. And Hawaii residents also pay a lot in property taxes. Now it's true that our county property tax rates are low, but Hawaii property values are among the highest in the nation, so if you own property in Hawaii, your property taxes will still be very high compared to many other states. How can we make Hawaii more affordable? Well, number one, reform the Federal Jones Act. That would allow more shipping competition, so carriers could use less expensive ships to ship here, and that would help lower costs of shipping to Hawaii. Number two, allow more housing. At the moment, government regulations get in the way of home building, so even a little bit more housing could go a long way to help make the islands more affordable. And number three, lower taxes. You could get rid of the general excise tax on necessities such as groceries, healthcare products, and medical services, 
or even just lower it. I mean, why not lower taxes for a change? You could also protect property owners from tax increases. I mean, let's not forget that their taxes are always going up because of higher property assessments, and that's caused by the housing shortage and inflation. Man, somewhere on this island, there's a house you've probably driven by and dreamed of. Man, you need to drive by that spot on this island because I think you might be able to have all those dreams that you drove around this island dreaming of. Oh, yeah. Let's get back to a Hawaii where you don't have to be a superstar to afford to live in your hometown. Not priced out of paradise, but priced back into paradise. For more information on how you can be part of the solution to lower your expenses and make Hawaii more affordable, go to grassrootinstitute.org. And if you have a story to tell us about how difficult it is to afford life in Hawaii, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, and to find out when we'll make another video, be sure to subscribe.